and it's five yards, a legal procedure, a costly penalty, and Woody Hayes is on that one. Look at that. Can you read lips? I did. Now Tom Clavens, the refugee from Czechoslovakia who kicked Ohio State into the Rose Bowl with four field goals against Michigan. He made eight out of ten this year. His kick is up. Up, and the kick is no good. He missed it to the right. A 24-yard field goal is missed. He hit three over 40 against Michigan and missed the short one here, but he had an angle from the near sideline. So an illegal procedure penalty proves very costly to Ohio State, and it cost them a possible touchdown or at least a cinch first down inside the two-yard line. Now we have a timeout. And now the score is still 3-0 USC. George Farmer pullback. Anthony Davis at tailback. First down USC on their own 20. They're ahead 3-0. 9.53 to go in a half. Davis, oh, is he belted behind the line of scrimmage. That's Neil Colsey who came up from his position. And he's hurt. He's really hurt. He hit him so hard he hurt himself. He's at number one. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this. Both teams are fired. That's Aaron Chunky Brown moving. Bruce Ilya moving to the outside. Pete Kusick really making great penetration. And there's the hit. Colsey. Colsey coming to the uh, sideline momentarily, and we'll take some time here to tell you the score, 3-0 USC. Colsey hit uh, Anthony Davis so hard they shook him up and had to take him out. Alan Carter's now the tailback. Diggs is in motion. This is Carter, and he's just back to the 20, and that's all, or short of it. So now Ohio State is stiffing on defense. Nick Buonamici, the left tackle, tripped him up. He's number 75. And they're working on Anthony Davis down on the USC bench. He was really racked up by Neil Colsey. You know, the switch they really made that I think is the interesting one is they put 55, Aaron Brown, Chunky Brown, from Warren, Ohio, a freshman, the nose guard, and that is where it's at. We'll keep our eye on him. Evidently, Woody Hayes is dissatisfied with his linebacking and his defense so far, and he's been making many changes. This is the first time they have stopped USC. Hayden running a sprint out. He's hit by Cusick. Cusick pulling down. 71 got to him around the ankles. Now that's the best Ohio State has played on defense of any series. But that's Pete Cusick, the All-American. He had a clever remark. We asked him yesterday what he thought of the comeback of USC over Notre Dame. He said, I was watching the game. I had to leave the room. <laughs> In punt formation for the first time is Jim Lucas. From Arcadia, California, he averaged 39 yards a punt. Back as a safety man is Neil Colsey. He broke this game open. He missed the ball. He missed it. He may get a first down. He does. He missed the ball and then picked it up and ran for a first down. I, it, I can't conceive of that being a flat play. In golf, you keep your eye on the ball. He kept his eye on the man coming from the left. Look at that. He just ticked it. They're going to put that play in the book, Kurt, definitely. That's one of the great punt plays in Rose Bowl history. That'll match Roy Riggle's wrong way run. Look at this one. Just ticked the end of it. About a two-yard punt, and he picks it up and yep. runs for a first down. Looked like an onside punt. <laughs> there, the crowd is really roaring and murmuring about that one. That'll be one of the freak plays of all time. It was a hip tip. First down, USC on their own 33. Hayden, the George, Dave Farmer, the fullback. His brother's George in pro ball. And they're still talking about that play. McKay said I had it all the way. Three to nothing, USC ahead. 7.49 to go in the first half. USC's ball on their own 36, second and seven. Ricky Bell's back in a fullback. We'll try and get some word about Anthony Davis.
Out in motion goes Alan Carter. Hayden rolling right, flips the ball, and nearly intercepted there. It was meant for Bradovich, and Bruce Elia nearly grabbed it off. Let's go down to Ross Porter now. Anthony Davis sustained a bruise uh, just above the left knee, about two inches above it. He is now running along the sidelines. He says he'll be back in now within a matter of minutes. And one thing, Al, you might look for is that USC appears to be keen on the Ohio State nose guard. Whatever angle he goes at, they try to go the other way, and that's one reason Hayden has been sending a man in motion lately to see how Ohio State reacts. All right, it is third down and seven. USC having trouble moving except for the freak punt for the first down. Now they have three men spread out wide. Here's a screen being set up. Look out! He is racked up. Woo! Was he hit by Jim Cope, number 91. And Ohio State is coming defensively now. That was to the fullback, Dave Farmer. Cope just laid back there and was waiting for that one. Now another punt formation, and let's see what kind of a play Jim Lucas will pull this time. <laughs> Dirk Paul hit the football. This yeah, is going to be better. Cool. Neil Colsey and Doug Plank are the two deep men. Plank's up a little bit shorter. Lucas failed to kick it the last time. And his block, and he failed to kick it this time. It's recovered by Ohio State on the 17-yard line. And it's recovered by the... One on the Buckeyes, and that is Max Midlam. The kicking game. Tim Fox firing in from that right side over the football. How many games you won by how you kick the ball? One time he wins, this time he loses. Again. Watch Fox come in here now. Number 12. Look at him. They had the gap open for him, and he smothers it. So Lucas has yet to really put a dent on punting. Hazel's in. Ohio State first down on the 17-yard line of USC. Green gives it to Johnson, the fullback. And he might have got to the 15 or 14. Both the Bradley, the nose guard, met him head on there. We've been talking about both eye formations and the entire first quarter, and now both teams, frankly, are keying on the middle guard. Both the Bradley, 92 for USC. Chunky Brown, 55 for Ohio State. USC ahead, 3-0, 6-10 to go in the first half. Bash Nagel in motion, second down, eight. That's Archie Griffin. He spins to the 10-yard line. He's stopped by Okta Bradley and Art Riley. This man has rushed over 100 yards, 22 games in a row. So far today, he has rushed for 40 yards. He's starting to, to near target now. He was very slow starting the game, but he's been picking up momentum. Anthony Davis has 61 yards. Right now, he has a bruised leg, and he's on the USC bench. Third down, two yards to go for Ohio State. Just over the USC 10. That's Griffin and Johnson. There's a fumble. A fumble, and USC has it. Marvin Kopp recovered number 24. Ohio State is making costly mistakes inside the USC 10-yard line. First a penalty, and now a fumble. The Trojans will take over. And our score is still 3-0 USC. Some folks say when teams are not playing for almost a month, that's why they fumble. That's not the reason here. The hitting is awfully hard. It wasn't a good handoff, and Art Riley makes a super play on Pete Johnson. All right, USC has Anthony Davis back in. Dave Farmer, the fullback ahead of him, first down for the Trojans on their five. Davis on a sprint. He's met by Steve Luke. There's a fumble, a pile up, and let's see now. Let's wait till the officials give it to us. Looks like Cusick down at the bottom of the pile. Who's got it? 75. Wanamichi. And Ohio State has the ball right back again. Okay, let's see it again. The fumble ball so far, the interception. Let's watch it. Doesn't look like he's got a good hold of that football. Met by Steve Luke on a perfect tackle. Pops the ball out. 75, Bonamici makes the big recovery. First down, goal to go. Ohio State on the USC six. And running to the two yard line is Chip Henson, who's now come in. Harold Henson, who has scored one touchdown every nine times he's carried the ball. 
Champ Henson. Charles Phillips and Kevin Bruce met him there. Second down. Two to go for an Ohio State touchdown. Clock moving with 4.53 to go in the half. USC ahead, 3-0. They're in that full house tee. That's Henson, and he's over. Oh, he can, he can smell that goal line. 11 touchdowns this season. Here's a replay. Ohio State has gone ahead. Well, if you've got an all-American tackle by the name of Kurt Schumacher, you go to his home. Kurt wiped it out. Champ Henson did his thing. Buddy Hayes says Jim Otis is the greatest fullback he's ever coached. Here's Henson again. There's the hole. He slithered through with power. He said uh, Jim Otis could score a touchdown down around the goal line with a broken leg. That's why I call him the greatest. Here's the kick now by Clavin. The kick is up and it's good. So for the first time in the game, Ohio State's in the lead in the score. Ohio State 7, USC 3. Pause briefly for station identification. This is the NBC Television Network. Kurt Gowdy and Aldi Rogatis, that's the way now they split. This is a freshman, Dwight Ford, coming to you. The other man is Anthony Davis. Davis will field this kick, and he's going to run it out. He's out to the 10, and he nearly has his head taken off out around the 17-yard line. And I want to tell you right now, that's Lenny Willis. Leonard Willis, he's the fastest man on the team, and Ohio State is fired up on defense right now. And this Willis kid can fly. Looks close to a face mask, but it's not. Boy, it takes courage to run it back, and this man does it so beautifully, but not that. There's Willis, a bit happy. It was all USC in the first period. It's been Ohio State in the second quarter. Trojans ball, first down under 17. Davis and Farmer behind Pat Hayden. Diggs coming in motion. It goes to the fullback, Farmer, and he's across his 20. Out to his 22, and it was the uh, Wanamichi Cusick Cope in there on him. Woody Hayes made some changes and adjustments back in his shirt sleeve outfit that he used to wear in blizzards. As he got older, he went to a windbreaker, but uh, today as the California sun warms up the afternoon here, here's the man that is second only to Bear Bryant in active coaching victories. Second down, five to go for USC. That's Davis in motion. Hayden is rolling out, throws the pass, and it's complete. For a first down to John McKay, J.K. McKay. Tackled by Steve Luke, and USC has a first down. Remember January 12th, NBC Super Sunday will begin at 1.30 Eastern time with a review of the season. A special one-hour program entitled NFL 74, The Championship Chase. Then at 2.30, a pregame show featuring Don Meredith, Joe Namath, Jeannie Morris, and Jack Perkins. And Super Bowl IX will follow immediately at 3 o'clock with the Steelers against the Vikings. After the game, we'll have interviews and highlights on NBC January 12th. Aiden again back. This one is a deep bomb, and it is incomplete, and there's no interference. That was the number 19, Junior Lee, and he was covered stride for stride by Steve Luke. And the USC fans thought it was interference, but the official running right down with a play, perfectly legal. Perfectly legal. And now you've got second and long. One of the, not the best down in football, second and long. Quarterbacks sometimes draw. If they do, Bruce Ilya. Uh, will be one of the people who should be looking for it. Sometimes, however, when you've got a good tight end like Obradovich, you try to hit him, number 89. J.K. McKay back in for Junior Lee. Second down 10, 7-3, Ohio State ahead. 3.26 to go in the first half. This is a draw play. Anthony Davis off that tailback draw. Is hit by Ilya, 36, and Arnie Jones, a freshman or a senior from Dayton, Ohio. We have a freshman in the lineup now at left tackle for Ohio State. Ed Beeman, number 67 of Cincinnati. There's Cusick. He uh, seems to have something wrong with his leg. 
Third down, five to go. USC on their 42-yard line. Alan Carter has replaced Anthony Davis at tailback. Anthony Davis has 67 yards rushing. Archie Griffin, 40 yards. Two top running backs in America this year. Although Oklahoma fans will argue about their Joe Washington. Here's a rollout. Right down the middle to Obradovich. He's got him at the 20. Bradovich to the 26. Got it on the 30. He was hauled down by Steve Luke. A perfect post pattern for the tight end. What a call. He comes with the draw, and then he comes to his tight end. He uses his tight end beautifully. Obradovich hasn't caught many, but does he catch the big one? Man hanging on him. Powerful young man. Just pulls away. That's a 31-yard pass. He sets it up. He had inside position on Fox and then had to be hauled down by Luke. First down USC on the 27-yard line of Ohio State. Trojans are fighting the clock. They send Diggs in motion. This is the rollout. They give it off to Davis or to Carter. Carter picks his way, number 21, to the 22-yard line where he's upended by Tim Fox. Carter weighs 200 pounds. He just had the misfortune of playing behind one of the all-time USC greats, Anthony Davis. In this football game, Pat Hayden likes to use Shel Sheldon Diggs infrequently. He kind of lulls you to sleep with this young man. He's got great speed. He's also going against a tough one, he calls it. There's Diggs setting down, a minute 40 to go in the half. Carter plunges inside the 20. They might have tagged him down right at the 20-yard line. They do. And now it's third and three, and Van Decree of Warren, Ohio. The All-American defensive end was the man that tripped him up. Here comes Dave Farmer back in with a play. And going out is Ricky Bell. Now they're getting down to crucial time, a minute, 10 seconds to go in this half. Ohio State ahead, seven to three. It's third down, three to go for USC. Roll out, look out, they, he gets away, and he's spun down on the 22-yard line by the freshman, Beeman, Ed Beeman put him down. Number 67, who came in replacing Cusick. Ed Beeman, with good lateral pursuit, and Chris Lamahalu is in. Let's get another report from Ross Porter. Pete Cusick suffered a twisted knee, he said, but he'll be back in in the second half. Liam Halu will try a field goal now. He's kicked one earlier in the game. This is a 39-yard attempt. Flag goes down. Ohio State may be offside. The kick is good. 39-yard field goal by little Chris Lima Halu. Let's see what the penalty marker is about. It was offside. Ohio State, as we thought. The penalty declined by USC. 19 seconds. Now, wait a minute, USC may figure an option here. They may try and mark off this five yards to see where it winds up. 19 seconds to go. It'll be an interesting decision. Matt Hayden, who can think? He just went through the road scholar examination. One of two from California, he said it was the toughest competitive thing of his life, all oral examinations. He'll go to Oxford, two years. And his coach, John McKay, says it's a million dollar award. He'll come out of Oxford, may not play professional football, wants to be a lawyer. He was an English major. He is a great advertisement for college football, Pat Hayden, whose father is a salesman for a medical supply firm. Offside against Ohio State, has been accepted by USC. Now they have the ball on the 17-yard line with a first down and only 19 seconds to go. So they have turned down the sure three points that they had. The they, have another, they have another shot at that, Kurt. Again, the big change Ohio State made is right in the middle with number 55 in there, Aaron Brown. First down, 19 seconds to go in the half. They gave up the three points. Hayden throws to the sideline and broke it up. 
by Ken Kuhn, the linebacker, number 54. 17 seconds remaining in the half. They were trying to hit John McKay in the sideline pattern. He'll be a marked man because inside the 20, they go to McKay, who plays a lot like Fred Belitnikov. He's not overly fast, but he has sure feet, can get open, and has gluey hands. Another great asset always is when you have a back that can catch the football. He can always bring him out of the backfield. Second down 10. USC on the Ohio State 17. In motion is Carter. There it is down the middle. It's complete at the four-yard line. Tim Fox made the tackle and Obradovich the tight end. And uh, there it is. The first the down. End zone low. The tight end. What a valuable weapon. Boy, he's made some big catches. Timeout by USC. They stopped the clock with 11 seconds to go in the first half. They have one timeout left. And Hayden wants to be sure of that. One left. Shekarobia and Fred Kasijian are the only two football players in USC history who've ever been in the scholarship degree that Hayden has been in. He started the season slowly passing, but he wound up strong. And by the way, he joined a select group of young men recently when he was named one of the 33 winners of a $1,000 NCAA postgraduate scholarship. 11 of those postgraduate scholarships playing in seven bowl games. Alabama's Randy Hall tonight. Notre Dame's Pete Demerley and Reggie Burnett. They'll be seen in the Orange Bowl later here on NBC. You saw Ricky Bell and Pat Aiden walk in. A very obvious strategy. It's almost so obvious that you think he's not going to give it to Ricky Bell. He might and then call a timeout. Four linebackers in for Ohio State. First and goal to go for USC. Aiden flares it out to Carter. He's being trapped. He's going for a loss at the seven-yard line. Four seconds. And USC has called its last time out of the half. Now, the field goal team is coming on again. And Chris Lima Halu, who kicked a 39-yard field goal for three points, and then USC discarded the three points when they had a penalty on the field goal and took a first down. Now let's see if Lima Halu, this will be a more difficult angle for him. It's going to be from the near sideline, and it's on the seven. It'll be about four, about a 24-yard shot. He's so cool, Kurt. Uh, Kurt. It's, it's kind of hard to believe. 5'5", five, five, there he is, 130 pounds. 5'5", five, five, 130 pounds, and just as cool as can be. He uh, made 38 out of 42 extra points, 9 out of 14 field goals. And he has a difficult angle here now. Much more than the 39-yard one. He'll be spotted on the 14. <coughs> pardon me, it's a 24-yard attempt. It's up. And the kick is no good. He missed it. So they gave up the three points they had in the bag. They gambled to go for a seven point, and that's the end of the half with the score, Ohio State seven and USC three. We'll have halftime activities in just a moment. Right now, we pause for station identification. John Davidson and Olivia Newton-John on the Mac Davis Show tomorrow night. You know, it makes us sound like we don't know anything. A, a field goal by Lima Halo, 30 yards, and a touchdown by Champ Benson of two yards. 
is the scoring 7-3 Ohio State. And now for halftime entertainment, first, the Ohio State Marching Band. From the Ohio State University Marching Band. other schools in the Big Ten that are still wishing they were here. Maybe this will help. A winning football tradition. 
Another OSU tradition is performed today for the eighth time in the Rose Bowl. The incomparable Script Ohio. Time activities will continue in a moment. Right now, we pause for station identification. Without a truck, Sonny and Will find it tough to keep moving on tomorrow night on NBC. sneaked up on it. The nineteen seventy five Rose Bowl game is brought to you by Texaco and the many thousands of independent Texaco retailers and distributors in all fifty states. By your Chrysler Plymouth dealers to invite you to see Cordoba, the new small Chrysler. By Goodyear, the makers of Bigfoot, the new polished steel radial tire. It keeps its feet even in the rain. And by Anheuser-Busch Incorporated St. Louis, brewers of Budweiser. When you say Budweiser, you said it all. 
And right now, we'll say the score at halftime, 7-3, Ohio State. Now the USC Trojan marching band. Ladies and gentlemen, to celebrate the new year, the Trojan Marching Band salutes people throughout America who make their own kind of music. As the Trojan Marching Band says, I've got the music in me. Americans have traditionally expressed themselves through the music of jazz. The Trojan Marching Band now features its trumpet section to the modern jazz sounds of Maynard Ferguson.
people to dance. Watch the many sections of the Trojan marching band as they dance to the music. afternoon, there was a verdict in the Watergate trial in Washington, D.C. Here with a special report from the courthouse in Washington is NBC's news correspondent, Bridge. USC is going to receive on your left. They open the second half. Ohio State will kick on your right. USC has won the battle of statistics, but trails on the scoreboard. The Trojans have 13 first downs to four for Ohio State. They have outrushed Ohio State 130 to 100. Total yardage, a big margin for USC. 213 to 113. Two turnovers charged to Southern Cal, one to Ohio State. And in the heralded battle of Anthony Davis and Archie Griffin, Davis has the edge, 67 total yards in the first half. Even though he missed some playing time with an injury, Archie Griffin had 44 yards. Three points will be remembered a long time. Some coaches say always take the points. The block punt. The second down and short yardage pass by Hayden that was in, intercepted by Coldy. The fumble that, uh, by Arch Griffin, and then the fumble right back by Anthony Davis when it looked like USC was out of trouble. Tom Skoldany kicking off. And it's a deep boot. Coming out with it is Alan Carter to the 10. And he is down on his 17-yard line. And that's Tim Fox, who's been all over the field today. He's down there to help make the tackle, and Skoldany is one of the few place kickers you see who also goes down and makes tackles. So it, USC's ball now, first down in their 17. They'll have Hayden at quarterback. Alan Carter is going to be the tailback. Anthony Davis evidently is not right physically. The fullback will be Dave Farmer. McKay and Diggs are the wide receivers. Obradovich the tight end. Those men are at the skill positions. Aiden on first down on a quick give to Dave Farmer. On the blast, there's a fumble. And let's see who's got it. USC still has it. All right, let's take another look at it. They're driving off the ball real well. A good block there. Van Decree moves to the inside, grabbing the football from Farmer. I don't think you have it, Mr. Decree. <laughs> you do, but a little late. Second down five for the Trojans. Powell and Knutson are the tackles. Davis and Bain the guards. McCaffrey's at center. Ricky Bell's a fullback. He just brought in a play. Pete Cusick's back in the game, by the way. There's a long pass that is nearly intercepted by Neil Colsey. It was a tenant for Dix. This Colsey can really cover in that secondary. He certainly can. He has that rover ability. Charles Phillips also has it for the uh, USC Trojans, but Colsey impresses and Kurt early. Made some of the hardest tackles that we've seen. Ricky Bell goes out. Dave Farmer back in as a fullback. And Dwight Ford, a highly touted freshman, is now the tailback. He's the heir apparent to Anthony Davis next year at tailback. Dwight Ford, number 22. A third down play, five to go. Here's a draw play to Ford. He has blazing speed. And he is hit at the 25 and down by Jim Cope, number 91. They just don't get outside Cope. He's refused to let him get outside today. You're seeing one of the reasons why the attack at this three or five man line, depending on how you think uh, Jim Cope and Van Decree play. Cope can either come or be a linebacker. That play, he was waiting, he was not coming, he was really playing linebacker. Now let's see if Jim Lucasen finally hit the ball with a putt. He missed it once and picked it up, ran for a first down the second time he had a block. And that one's nearly blocked, but not quite. That punts away, and it's going into Ohio State territory and out of bounds. 
They'll mark it up along the 45-yard line of Ohio State. Buckeyes ball with a first down. If I had to sense what might be happening now, I'd have to say that USC fans ought to be yelling defense. You get the feeling that they're a trifle down, and this is a very big defensive series. Cornelius Green's the quarterback, number seven. Archie Griffin, the tailback, 45. Champ Henson, the fullback, 38. Rolling out is Green. He throws. It's complete. And he is three for three in the game. He hit six out of eight last year. And that's the tight end, Doug France, that caught the ball. Last year, it was a tight end named Pugic that caught four of Green's passes. Green. Trying to open up USC now. A first down, Ohio State. On the Ohio State 42. Len Willis is the flanker outside. And they tried to blast up the middle, and it doesn't go far. That's number 85. Dale Mitchell, the outside linebacker who crossed over to make the hit on Archie Griffin. Actually, the USC defense in the interior has been doing a more effective job in the middle than the Ohio State team. Ohio's doing the better job to the outside. Corny Green can pull it down. He was wide open on that pass play before. Second down, nine to go for the Buckeyes. Green with a rollout. He can move. He goes to the 40. He's at the 35. He has a first down. He's out of bounds on the 31 of USC. Otha Bradley drove him out. Ted Smith was leading the way, the left guard, the blocker. Richard Wood from Elizabeth, New Jersey. A lot of speed. They say run at speed, run away from strength. This is the speed of Rich Wood. But it's a big gain, and Corny Green, Kirk, could be a real factor this half. Well, he's certainly been a factor so far with his passing and running. First down, Ohio State ahead, 7-3 early in the third quarter. There goes Griffin. He just tripped up when he started to go somewhere. Richard Wood brought him down. Okay, we're seeing the Buckeye bullet. I like to call him that. Small, built like a miniature George Foreman, but attacks like an O.J. Simpson. Real speed. Bill Ezzo for the first time in the game. Number eight is a wide receiver, a split in. In a second down, four. Green bootlegging again. Shoots that pass to Doug France, and he has it. And the tight end swirling around. Red-shirted men on him. That was a remarkable catch. Green threw that ball hard. Now you have some hard feelings there. Art Riley, they have to pull him away, and that's Richard Wood separating. Number 52 is Steve Myers. He has a broken wrist that he's playing. Woody Hayes has calmed down out there. I'll get excited, but not you boys. We had Woody. <laughs> we were talking about how Pat Hayden likes to use his tight end. Well, Corny Green knows how to use him real well, too. This man does it with a flare. Beautiful catch. I get a kick out of Woody. He can tear up the yard marker, so the players have to stay tall. Bashnagel out to the right. There's a give back to the fullback, Champ Henson. If Henson scores another touchdown in this game, he will break the all-time Ohio State touchdown record. Art Riley made the tackle on Champ Henson, and the ball now is spotted on the eight-yard line of USC, second down, seven for Ohio State. The play that seems so tough, really, to be stopped is that simple toss to Arch Griffin going wide to the right. The fullback lead, the wingback block. Ed Powell is out. Mario Salato has come in, a freshman linebacker. Griffin, fumble, and that's an Ohio State ball. Ohio State has recovered. That's the second fumble for Archie Griffin, and Art Riley has it, number 70. All right, let's see it, low from behind. A big fumble for Arch. They're arguing the ball was late. Corny Green was arguing. The official is right there. It's difficult for us to see it. Arch's second fumble. Ohio State has made three costly mistakes inside the USC 10 today. Two fumbles and a penalty. First down now. Hayden gives the ball to Alan Carter. Carter's at the nine. And it doesn't appear if we're going to see much of Anthony Davis in the second half. 
Bruce Ilya and Nick Buonamici ganged up for that tackle on the Trojan nine at second down eight. Anthony Davis had a bruised leg midway in the second period after he picked up 60 some yards. He was on his way to a remarkable rushing game. Report is that Davis will be back in. That's Carter again. And he's to the 11-yard line of USC. Ken Kuhn, the outside linebacker, and number 75, Al the sophomore, Buonamici, 75, played himself a defensive tackle game. Realizing that you're having some punting problems, Pat Hayden may have to put the football up. He may do it with some reluctance. Neil Colsey has twice come very close to it. If he does, 46, Steve Luke again might be the target. These two teams, high-scoring teams in a low-scoring game, surprising to us. 7-3, Ohio State. In motion is Carter. Hayden will flip it out of the end zone, right at the goal line. The pass is good to J.K. McKay. Grabbed off by Luke. And I believe they're calling a completion for USC. Cusick. All right, that's 91 Pope. He made the hit, dropping back off his right end position, and they called it a completion to McKay. And it'll be a Trojan first down. McKay's second reception of the game. In the middle again, number 42, Arnie Jones. Arnie built more like a linebacker than a nose guard, though he's 240 pounds. He's six foot tall. The trick early when Anthony Davis was running so well was attacking right there. White Ford, the freshman, the tailback. Ricky Bell ahead of him. Here's Diggs in motion. First down USC from their 25. Oh, he ran. And that's Ed Beeman. Ed Beeman hit him, the freshman, number 67. Okay, defense. Such a part of football. A good picture of it. Jones moving to the inside. Beeman who's doing so well, plays off the fullback block, makes the tackle. Wadamichi's at one tackle, Beeman a freshman at the other, Pete Cusick is still injured. They're all American tackle. That's Anthony Davis. He may be back in here. It's on the 24-yard line of the Trojans, second and 11. They're trailing seven to three. Eight and a half to go in the third period. Roll out by Hayden to get away from the pass rush. Intercepted by Colsey. He may go. He's at the 15, he's at the 10, and he's out of bounds. How cold he waits to play the ball. He is incredible. You know what he knew? He knew that Pat Hayden will go to his tight end once too many times. He thought he saw a hole, and the hole suddenly closed down. The tight end is going out. Colsey plays it magnificently. Right in front of Obradovich. This is instinct. And this is thinking. 21 yard return by All American defensive back Neil Colsey. Last year, late in the third quarter, he ran a punt back 56 yards to the USC 9. But USC ahead 21 20 and broke the game open. Now this ball is being brought back to the 24 yard line of USC. Dead ball foul. And for spiking the ball, Colsey. Has a 15-yard penalty call. But USC has given up the ball now. That's their third turnover. Colsey's intercepted two passes today. First down, Ohio State on the USC 24. Archie Griffin, he's been fairly well contained today. Art Riley, the right tackle. Incidentally, it is now second down and goal to go. Second and 22 for an Ohio State touchdown. With a quarterback like Corny Green, you've got to talk about the run. With speed like Len Willis, you think about the pass. Willis is flank left. There goes Bash to spread him out to the right. Second down, 22 for a touchdown. Green getting out of the pocket. He's hit the still away. Throws in desperation. Intercepted. And that ball is intercepted by Danny Bruce. Danny Reese has it. The teams are exchanging the football. Reese intercepted five passes this year. 
And he made a great play of that one after this desperation pass. We saw a fumble by Griffin. We saw an interception by Colsey. We see a desperation effort here by Green. And we see another interception. A little pat up in the air. Big play, big play. And after the two teams exchange the ball, the score is Ohio State 7, USC 3. The USC mascot, Tommy Trojan III, watching his team line up a first down on the USC 24. Three turnovers in each team. Ohio State's had two turnovers in the third quarter. Hayden fires to McKay, and the pass is good. McKay's getting position in those sidelines. They're attacking Steve Luke. Not that Luke isn't that good a cornerback. They sure don't want to try Colsey again. So they're going with the, the safer pass, that down and out, good distance, and throwing to the outside. Nine out of 17 for Pat Hayden. First down, USC on their 42. Seven to three. Ohio State ahead. Seven and a half minutes to go in this third period. Lots of time. And he scores that one. And that's right on target again to the coach's son, J.K. McKay. Okay, and this is Dredd. Kurt said there were two men right there. Look at that, how close it was. Ken Kewen. He's got him on the move. Here's another angle, Kurt. J.K. McKay, the senior, and the father-son and coach-player relationship ends here today. But there might be another Southern Cal combination in a few years. Another Coach McKay's boys, Rich, is a high school quarterback and a good one. Junior Lee has gone in now. That's Farmer, the fullback, countering back to the 32-yard line of Ohio State, where Ed Beeman, playing a remarkable game for a freshman, ended Well, you know what? is so interesting and both quarterbacks are doing it well they're calling that exceptionally fine game pat hayden saw the way this defense was being deployed he also saw the opening up the middle he came with the pass attacked the middle he may try it again second down five usc on the ohio state 34 they marked him with his knee on the 34. that's carter carter spins to the 29. Juan Amici brought him down. Look at this uh, statistic in the third quarter. Ohio State, in 11 games this year in the third quarter, scored 110 points to three for the opponents. That was SMU. They got a mighty field goal. Third down. A half yard to go. It's on the 29 and a half yard line. Southern Cal in possession. Ohio State's ahead, 7 to 3. And Hayden has the first down as he sneaks for it. File up there by Ohio State's Arnie Jones, 42, and Ken Kuhn. On Saturday, January 11th, from Mobile, Alabama, they'll still measure this, I guess. The college uh, bowl game, most highly regarded by pro scouts. The senior bowl game this year featuring two of the nation's top quarterbacks, Steve Bartoski from California and David Hum from the University of Nebraska. NBC Sports will carry the senior bowl. Number one in live coverage of major sports events all year round. Saturday, January 11th. We might get an opportunity to show you how Van Decree is playing the wide side of the field. He's number 88. He has the ability and the strength of a defensive end and the capacity also to play linebacker. Jay K. McKay's back in the game. He split wide to the left. First down. Roll out by Hayden. Now he decides to run it. He's over the 25 to the 23 yard line of Ohio State. That's Jones, 42. And that freshman again, Ed Beeman, 67. Actually, on that, Van Decree did a fine job. He played it to the outside. And what Van Decree wants to do is to force it back to the inside. He's hoping for help. Plays off the one blocker by Sheldon Diggs. Plays off Farmer. Comes back to the inside, and he gets help there. Number 
62, Ricky Bell in his pullback. McKay is shuttling his plays in with his pullback. And now USC calls a timeout. So the setup here with 4.45 to go in the third quarter is Ohio State 7, USC 3. We pause briefly for station identification. This is the NBC Television Network. Kurt Gowdy and Eldy Rogatis from the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. Second down, four to go for USC. Oh. As Ricky Bell, he was tripped up suddenly at the 21-yard line by Nick Buonamici. Bell, a sophomore from Los Angeles, 215 pounds. That was almost a big misdirection play. You start the flow left, and you hit the play behind it. His pullbacks must be getting tired running on and off the field. Third down, two. Dave Farmer now replaces Bell. 4.15 to go in the quarter. 7 to 3, Ohio State. Quite a march here USC has going. To the sideline, no good, thrown high and away from J.K. McKay. He was covered by Colsey, and that was in Pat Hayden's mind, Mr. Colsey. He's grabbed off two interceptions today and plays those receivers like glue. And now, Chris. Lima Halu comes in. He has kicked a field goal of 30 yards in this game. He kicked another one of 39 yards that USC declined. They had three points in the bag and declined it. They got a penalty on it went and took a first down. And this kick, there goes the flag down. This kick is up. It is no good to the left, but we have a penalty marker down. All right, that's uh, holding against USC. It's declined by Ohio State. And the Buckeyes will put the ball in play. So that drive of USC went from their 24 to the Ohio State 21. SC still has the edge of statistics, but trails on the scoreboard. Again, they're fighting, and the errors by Ohio State have kept them really in the football game. Before Ohio State breaks out of their huddle to go to the attack, we'll tell you the score again. Seven to three, Ohio State. Woody Hayes, a head coach for 28 seasons at Denison University, Miami of Ohio, and Ohio State. Right now, his team is the first down on their own 20-yard line. That's the fullback, Champ Henson. Art Riley, Phoenix, Illinois. Otha Bradley, number 92. Interesting story right now with Ohio State. Archie Griffin is in danger of having his 100-yard game streak broken. In this game, he has 52 yards. 22 games in a row, he's gained 100 yards or more. But he's been pretty well throttled today by USC. Second down, eight. Hey, here he goes. Starting out wide, and Bashnagel comes back with it. They faked to him up the middle and gave it to Bashnagel coming back. Ron Bush and Dale Mitchell brought him down. One thing about Arch Griffin, though his 100-yard game might be threatened, he can get the rest of that very quickly. You know, they're going to the outside. They're not giving to Arch Griffin, but he has that great acceleration. Dave Hazel is set outside right. Roll out by Green. He had Hazel wide open. I didn't see him. Now he's running. And he stopped short of a first down, and he's 28. Hazel was wide open, and he didn't let it go to him. Bradley and Riley pursued him across the field and brought him down. You've used the name Bradley an awful lot today, yeah, Curtis. He's been, been in a lot of plays. Goldaney will punt. And back are Marvin Cobb and Charles Phillips. With 2.20 to go in the third period, and Ohio State ahead 7 to 3. A high floater, good hang time, fair catch called. USC's ball first down in their 28, and right now, Ross Porter. 
Anthony Davis suffered the bruised knee in the first half. Now the word is that Davis has at least bruised ribs. He may have cracked ribs, and it may be that AD may not be back this afternoon. If he has cracked ribs, he probably won't be. Thank you very much, Ross. We thought he was injured more seriously than reported in the first half. Alan Carter, the backup tailback, and Dave Farmer are the running backs behind Pat Hayden. Southern Cal's ball in their 28 with a first down. They're trailing 7 to 3. This is Carter. And he's up the near sideline, still going. Fine run by Carter. He has a first down at the USC 40. That's really tight rope walking the sideline. Tight rope walking the sidelines, a little toss, a good lead by Farmer, a good lead by the guard, and that's Farmer just making enough of a block. Good balance. Southern Cal on their 40 with a first down, a defensive battle today. We thought it might be a high-scoring game. These two teams know each other well, though. Their third meeting in a row. Carter. And he flashes to his 47. This Van Decree made the tackle on him. I want to remind you that NBC's third year of National Hockey League coverage will get underway Sunday at 4 o'clock Eastern time with the St. Louis Blues meeting the Buffalo Sabres and heralding the return of Peter Puck, along with other features on NBC Sports, number one in live coverage of major sports events all year round. Second down, three. Trojans on their 47. We're in the last minute and a half of the third quarter. Coming through is Farmer. He's at the 35, the 30. He's inside the 20. And the Trojans have a big first down. Dave Farmer Jr., who averaged seven and a half yards a carry this year. The average, not the best right average, right the right best direct. Right. Carter goes one way. John McKay said this man has exceptional ability. And you see it right here. Good movement, excellent leg action, big play. The ball is still there, Kurt, up the middle. Ricky Bell's in a pullback. Aaron Brown has now gone to right tackle for Ohio State. First down, USC. Hayden to Carter, 20. He's to the 15. They spot him at the 16 short. Alan Carter stepping in for the injured Anthony Davis in the second half. And right now, starting to generate some power from that, that USC tailback slot. In that secondary, Kerr, we've been talking about Obradovich. I have the feeling they will not try, at least they should not try to go against Colsey. They may try to bring it over the middle. If they do, Duck Plank will have to be looking for it, number 28. Now, Mosey Tatupo has gone in a pullback. That's Carter. And look at that cutback. He's hit by Rich Parsons, 24, and Steve Luke, 46, and Ed Beam in the tackle. USC now is on the 10-yard line of Ohio State. They're getting close, third down and a yard to go. Big offensive margin. There are five seconds to go in the quarter. USC has rolled up the statistics today. And that's the end of the third quarter of the 1975 Rose Bowl game. The score, Ohio State 7, USC 3. Kurt Gowdy, Aldi Rogatis for NBC take you into the fourth period. USC is on the Ohio State 10-yard line with third and a yard to go. USC has had drives in this last quarter of 55 and 62, yet failed to score. Wanamichi and Beeman are back at the tackles for Ohio State. Carter and Bell are the running backs. It is to Carter, and he should have a first down very close to it. They may measure anyway, just to be sure. They are. Take nothing for granted. Aaron Brown and Steve Luke tripped him up there. Wanamichi, 75. That's Pat Hayden, number 10, in the Cardinal jersey. <laughs> what is it? First down. Well, you know, when the Indiana Colony settled here 100 years ago, 
He used an Indian word, Pasadena, meaning crown of the valley. And Pasadena's added many jewels in that crown as you look over the stadium today and the surrounding countryside. It's becoming the headquarters city of the 70s. World and corporate headquarters abound in Pasadena. First down and goal to goal. Southern Cal on the Ohio State nine yard line. Ohio State ahead seven to three. We've just begun the fourth period. The pitch out to Carter. Running the student body sweep and it, the student body was thinned out rather quickly by Tim Fox, number 12, who's a hitter in that secondary. Everybody on this field's a hitter today. This is a football game. It's a surprise, frankly. We thought it was going to be a high-scoring football game after 42-21, 42-17. But no, it's been a great battle between the 10s, not the 20s. Total yardage in this game. 356 for USC, 169 for Ohio State. USC has doubled the offensive yardage on the Buckeyes. Hayden will look the field over. There it is. And it's a touchdown. Will the tight end. That was against Neil Colsey. Well, Bradovich beat Colsey that time. All right, let's take a look at this. The tight end. How he's used Obradovich today. Fires it to the outside. Colsey played it a bit casually, or at least it appeared that way, and a big catch. Oh, a 62-yard drive, or 72-yard drive. And now the kick by Lama Halu. And it's good. And USC has stormed back to take the lead here early in the fourth period. While they line up for the kickoff, it is now USC 10 and Ohio State 7. The touchdown pass, Hayden to Obradovich. Pat Hayden threw four touchdown passes in that memorable come from behind Southern Cal victory over Notre Dame to tie an all time USC game record. The kick is coming to Bashnagel on the six yard line. Oh, what a coverage that was! Great coverage. By number 33, Ricky Odom. That was the last scoring drive by USC. USC has 365 total yards in this game to 169 for Ohio State. The Trojans have doubled the offensive yardage. First down, Ohio State now on their 18-yard line. Ash Nagel in motion. Let's see if Ohio State opens up or goes to their ground game. Green running the option play. And the fired up Trojan banging down along the 19 and 20 yard line. That was Gary Jeter and Oak to Bradley. Bradley, a nose guard, has nosed his way into a lot of plays today. Boy, he sure has. And that defensive unit has really come on. Now, really, it's the offensive line of Ohio State. They must realize they've not that much time. Number one could be at stake. There's another game at the Orange Bowl after this. Pete Johnson at fullback. Bash Nagel in motion. Green going back to Willis. Willis deep, way over his head. He was covered downfield by Ron Bush, the right cornerback, the sophomore. You just saw the fastest man to ever play football for Ohio State, Len Willis, streak down the field, but no dice. Third and eight for Ohio State on their 20 yard line and they're trailing now 10 to three. Bill Ezzo goes in for Willis as you see him come to the bench. Once again that situation where the big defensive rush, is, rush will come. You might see a blitz. You might see an inter interception. Ash Nagel in motion. Fake draw play. Trying to set up something. Green's running. 20. 25 he has. Oh, what a rule this there. Great play by Green. He did it himself. He came out of the pocket. He can run for a quarterback, I'll tell you. Very nifty feet. Very nifty. A view from the end zone. A quarterback in trouble. His receivers are covered. He gets the big rush. Jeter is coming from the inside. Mitchell from the out. Art Riley pursuing. Fancy legs with the white shoes. Well, he went 23 yards. 
and took Ohio State out of trouble. They would have had to relinquish the ball had he not made that play. First down now. Here's a rollout left. He sets up. He throws a little dump off to Griffin. Griffin's at the 50. Streaks away to the 40. And he's down to the 35 for a first down. Or the 36. Marvin Cobb and George Stewart, who's now in a right tackle, brought him down. We talk about quarterbacks. Well, one thing you have to do is have poise. If your principal receiver is covered, go to your safety valve. Not a bad way to have one, either. Arch Griffin moves off for Ken Bruce. Good balance. First down, Ohio State on the 35-yard line of Southern Cal. In two plays, Ohio State's moved from the 20, their own, to the Southern Cal 35. Griffin's over the 30 to the 28-yard line. Archie Griffin, one of seven football-playing sons of Mr. and Mrs. James Griffin of Columbus, Ohio. James Jr. played at Muskegon College. Larry played at Louisville. Darrell played at halfback at Kent State this past season. Ray was a backup for older brother Archie at Ohio State. He's just a freshman. Duncan is an All-State high school football player, and Keith, the youngest one, may be the best of all. Pete Johnson, the fullback. Seven football-playing sons in the Griffin family. First down, Ohio State. And they're now on the 23-yard line of USC. Wanamichi and Beeman are back at the tackles for Ohio State. Carter and Bell are the running backs. It is to Carter, and he should have a first down very close to it. They may measure anyway, just to be sure. They are. Take nothing for granted. Aaron Brown and Steve Luke ripped him up there. Wanamichi, 75. That's Pat Hayden, number 10, in the Cardinal <laughs> What is it? First down. Well, you know, when the Indiana colony settled here 100 years ago, they used an Indian word, Pasadena, meaning crown of the valley. And Pasadena's added many jewels in that crown as you look over the stadium today and the surrounding countryside. It's becoming the headquarters city of the 70s. World and corporate headquarters abound in Pasadena. First down and goal to go. Southern Cal on the Ohio State nine-yard line. Ohio State ahead seven to three. We've just begun the fourth period. The pitch out to Carter. Running the student body sweep and it, the student body was thinned out rather quickly by Tim Fox, number 12, who's a hitter in that secondary. Everybody on this field's a hitter today. This is a football game. It's a surprise, frankly. We thought it was going to be a high-scoring football game after 42-21, 42-17. But no, it's been a great battle between the 10s, not the 20s. Total yardage in this game, 356 for USC, 169 for Ohio State. USC has doubled the offensive yardage on the Buckeye. Hayden will look the field over. There it is. And it's a touchdown. Will Vladovich the tight end. And that was against Neil Colsey. Well, Bradovich beat Colsey that time. All right, let's take a look at this. The tight end. How he's used Will Bradovich today. Fires it to the outside. Colsey played it a bit casually. Or at least it appeared that way in a big catch. Oh, a 62-yard drive, or 72-yard drive. And now the kick by Lama Halu. And it's good. And USC has stormed back to take the lead here early in the fourth period. While they line up for the kickoff, it is now USC 10 and Ohio State 7. The touchdown pass, Hayden to Abradovich. Pat Hayden threw four touchdown passes 
and that memorable come from behind Southern Cal victory over Notre Dame to tie an all-time USC game record. The kick is coming to Bashnagel on the six-yard line. Oh, what a coverage that was. Great coverage by number 33, Ricky Odom. That was the last scoring drive by USC. USC has 365 total yards in this game to 169 for Ohio State. The Trojans have doubled the offensive yardage. First down, Ohio State now on their 18-yard line. Ash Nagel in motion. Let's see if Ohio State opens up or goes to their ground game. Green running the option play. And the fired up Trojans banging down along the 19 and 20 yard line. That was Gary Jeter and Oak the Bradley. Bradley, a nose guard, has nosed his way into a lot of plays today. Boy, he sure has. And that defensive unit has really come on. Now, really, it's the offensive line of Ohio State. They must realize they've not that much time. Number one could be at stake. There's another game at the Orange Bowl after this. Pete Johnson at fullback. Bash Nagel in motion. Green going back to Willis. Willis deep, way over his head. He was covered downfield by Ron Bush, the right cornerback, the sophomore. You just saw the fastest man to ever play football for Ohio State, Lynn Willis, streak down the field, but no dice. Third and eight for Ohio State on their 20 yard line, and they're trailing now. 10 to 3. Bill Ezzo goes in for Willis as you see him come to the bench. Once again, that situation where the big defensive rush, is, rush will come. You might see a blitz. You might see an inter interception. Ash Nagel in motion. Fake draw play. Trying to set up something. Green's running. 20. 25. He has, oh, what a run this there. Great play by Green. He did it himself. He came out of the pocket. He could run for a quarterback, I'll tell you. Very nifty feet. Very nifty. A view from the end zone. A quarterback in trouble. His receivers are covered. He gets the big rush. Jeter is coming from the inside. Mitchell from the out. Art Riley pursuing. Fancy legs with the white shoes. Well, he went 23 yards and took Ohio State out of trouble. They would have had to relinquish the ball had he not made that play. First down now. Here's a rollout left. He sets up. He throws a little dump off to Griffin. Griffin's at the 50. Streaks away to the 40. And he's down to the 35 for a first down. Or the 36. Marvin Cobb and George Stewart, who's now in tackle, brought him down. We talk about quarterbacks. Well, one thing you have to do is have poise. If your principal receiver is covered, go to your safety valve. Not a bad way to have one either. Arch Griffin moves off for Ken Bruce. Good balance. First down, Ohio State on the 35-yard line of Southern Cal. In two plays, Ohio State's moved from the 20, their own, to the Southern Cal 35. Griffin's over the 30 to the 28-yard line. Archie Griffin, one of seven football-playing sons of Mr. and Mrs. James Griffin of Columbus, Ohio. James Jr. played at Muscombe College. Larry played at Louisville. Darrell played halfback at Kent State this past season. Ray was a backup for older brother Archie at Ohio State. He's just a freshman. Duncan is an All-State High School football player, and Keith, the youngest one, may be the best of all. Pete Johnson, the fullback. Seven football-playing sons in the Griffin family. First down, Ohio State. And they're now on the 23-yard line of USC. Art Riley has gone back in the football game. Both the Bradley, Art Riley, have both been doing a really outstanding job. 11.30 to go in this game. USC ahead 10-7. Ohio State threatening. Quick jump pass incomplete to the tight end. Grants a flag has been dropped. Each team was penalized only once in the first half. The game has been very free of penalties. That's interference. That's an automatic first down for Ohio State. The only 
defensive penalty that gives the team a first down is in college defensive pass interference. The man they haven't used is Dave Hazel. On the last play, Dave to the left side was wide open. Ohio State on the Southern Cal 17, first down. Archie Griffin has been held at 59 yards. That's good for most backs. But way below his usual per game average. There he is. He goes to the 12. Griffin, the fifth junior to ever win the Heisman Trophy. The others were Doc Blanchard of Army, Dope Walker of SMU, Vic Janowitz of Ohio State, and Roger Staubach of Maine. Only five juniors have ever won the Heisman Trophy. It is now on the 13-yard line of Southern Cal, second and six for Ohio State. Dave Hazel is spread out to the left. Just under 11 minutes to play in the 75 Rose Bowl game. Green running, 10 down to the nine. He's short of a first down. Man has amazing balance. He can be a running back on most teams. Gary Jeter tackled him around the ankles. Now when you've got an All-American tackle, you use that All-American tackle. His name is Curtin Schumacher. Earlier they scored a touchdown running to his side. He's at the left offensive tackle. Two tight ends for Kozik and France. Third down, a yard and a half to go. Roaring through is Pete Johnson for a first down at the five-yard line of USC. Marvin Cobb from the secondary nailed him. First and five for an Ohio State touchdown. And this drive started on the Ohio State 18-yard line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten plays. Johnny McKay should be nervous. First and five for the Buckeyes in their robust T formation. Johnson struggling to the three and that's it. He's piled on by the Trojans at the three yard line. Richard Wood and Kevin Bruce reached the first. Bruce is number 50. Second down, three to go for an Ohio State touchdown. The flow of the defense, the quickness of USC. There it is. The leading ground gainer, Griffin for Ohio State with 64. Cornelius Green, the quarterback, has 57. Second and three. Let's see who carries now for a Buckeye touchdown. And swinging wide is Green. He's over. Cornelius Green scores. There was a marvelous 82-yard drive for Ohio State. And it was engineered by Green. Green did most of it. What an added dimension when the quarterback can run. This man has... Excellent feet. What a fake inside to freeze him. He faked to Johnson. Out he comes. He can get outside. He's there. He passed. He ran the big play. It was his 23-yard run on third down when Ohio State had the ball on their 20-yard line. The kick is up by Clavin. And the kick is good. So Ohio State comes right back. And as we line up for the kickoff, it's now Ohio State 14, USC 10. Put Ohio State back out in front. And Cornelius Green was brilliant in that drive. Running and passing the Buckeyes down the field. Skuldaney's kick. The freshman, Dwight Ford, waits for it on the two. Out he comes to the 10, to the 20. He stopped at the 23-yard line of USC. And Lenny Willis, 89, the speedster, flew down the field to cover it. All right. USC ready to go to work. Last time they had the ball, they marched the long one, 78 yards to go out in front. Back came Ohio State for 82. Pat Hayden playing his final game in a USC uniform before he goes to Oxford, England for his Rhodes Scholarship. There's Cornelius Green. Quite a player. Most valuable player last year in the Rose Bowl. He might be very strongly in the running again this year. Hayden. This is a deep one going, going deep and over the head of Shelton Dick, who was injured part of the season, but he can fly. With all that time left, that was kind of a surprise. Uh, you would figure that Pat Hayden wouldn't try to go get it all at once. If he turns the ball over to Ohio State, 
he could be in trouble. They're a team that can grind it out and use up an awful lot of the clock. John Cantwell, a receiver, brings in a play from the bench. Sheldon Diggs overtaking a breather after that long fly pattern he ran. Nine minutes and nine seconds remaining in the 1975 Rose Bowl game. Another capacity crowd. Tickets could have sold 200,000 here today. Cantwell in motion. Bubble on the exchange is kicked around. up by USC. It sure is. He never had the football, Pat Hayden. They tried to recover it. All the white shirts are there. Looks like Van Decree on it, 88. It was kicked by the fullback, Farmer. Farmer kicked the ball trying to pick it up. And now Ohio State has the ball on the Southern Cal 30-yard line. Southern Cal lost their lead, and now they're in real jeopardy here. Green puts him down. Johnson at fullback. It goes to Archie Griffin. Griffin to the 26-yard line. He's met by Oka Bradley, the nose guard again. A gain of four for Griffin. Second down, six. Well, you see the way Arch has been stopped. You have to figure the defense is going to try to take away Arch Griffin. That makes it a bit easier for Cornelius Green. But with Green being able to go to the outside so well, we still might see Griffin break a long one. Four turnovers on USC today, three against Ohio State. Second down, six. Griffin again. 23-yard line, and that's it. David Lewis tackling. Third down, three to go for Ohio State. Eight minutes and 10 seconds to play. 71 yards for Archie Griffin. And we'll repeat again. He has an all-time NCAA record streak of 22 games in a row of at least 100 yards gained rushing a game. Ohio State has called a timeout. And with that, we'll tell you the score. Ohio State 14, USC 10. For Ohio State. Third and three, Buckeyes on the Trojan 23. Green keeps it, pitches out. Fashnagel running the wing back option play. Fashnagel comes off the wing, and he's the trailing back, and he picks up the first down. They faked up the middle just enough, and quite a call by Cornelius Green. It is now on the 17-yard line of USC. Clock stops with 7.57 remaining. Ohio State on the USC 17-yard line. The score is 14 to 10, Ohio State. They have just taken the lead away on an 82-yard march. And USC fumbled the ball right back again. That's Archie Griffin. Richard Wood brought him down. I want to remind you folks, on January 18th and 19th for the fourth consecutive year, NBC Sports brings you the Dean Martin Tucson Open, featuring the 1974 World Series of Golf Champ. Lee Trevino, as well as last year's Tucson Open defending champion, Johnny Miller, it's on NBC Sports, number one in live coverage of major sports events all year round. Second down, six, Green on the sprint out. Now throws, broken up brilliantly by Danny Reese. The pass intended for the fullback, Pete Johnson. Good save, Danny. The Ohio State team where they have been gaining is going to their right at the young uh, uh, sophomore Gary Jeter. The reverse has been true for Ohio State. They have been vulnerable up the middle. Incidentally, Al, that was a surprise by Ohio State. Johnson, the fullbacks, caught only one pass all year. Here's the draw play. And they stop him, Archie Griffin, at the 14-yard line. Oh, the Bradley, what a game he's played, number 92. 14 to 10. Let's see how they play it now. The attendance has just announced here. Fantastic again for the Rose Bowl. 106,721. Uh, over 106,000 people in the Mammoth Rose Bowl in Pasadena. Bashnagel will hold. 
Laban's kick is up, and the kick is good. A 34-yard field goal by Tom Claven. Well, USC needs a touchdown and a point now. We'll take time to say it's 17-10, Ohio State.
It is second down. Four to go for USC. They're doing it on the ground right now. Carter trying to sweep. He doesn't get the first down. Another man that's made it. Uh, played a fine game, was right there, Jim Cope. Played off Dave Farmer, worked to the outside. Third down and short yardage. This, Kurt, is the biggest first down of the game for USC. Three minutes and 25 seconds remaining in the Rose Bowl game. Woody Hayes, a student of General George Patton for the last 20 years. That's his idol. He had lunch. George Patton Sr. when Woody went over to visit the troops in Vietnam. Third down, a yard and a half to go. Carter trying to fight for that first down. It's very close. Very close. Van de Cree pursued him. So did that freshman again, Beeman. And let's see, the officials now are looking to the far side. And the clock is still going. And they're not even going to measure. Fourth down and a foot to go. USC must go for it. There's no doubt. We haven't talked about this USC front. Bob McCaffrey, John McKay said he's got so many All-Americans, this man would not make it. But he doesn't think there's a better center in the country. Now McKay signals Hayden to call a timeout. Two minutes and 34 seconds. Remain in this game. And here's... USC's crucial play coming up. They have fourth down and a foot to go. And they're on the Ohio State 41 as the Buckeye band toots it up. Well, you look at these two teams, you realize the last two years, you see the closeness of this score. It would almost seem like the only way you end the battle is with a draw. And Ohio State, frankly, is trying to fight off that very thing. But always keep in mind, if USC does get down there, is that the two-point rule can make the difference. I don't know, Al, who'll get the outstanding player. Last year, the most valuable player, the top player of the game was Cornelius Green. Year before, Sam the Bam Cunningham of USC. Jim Plunkett in 71. Remember Rex Kern with Ohio State in 69. O.J. Simpson in 68. There have been some players selected who have been on the losing team. Ernie Nevers shared the honors with Notre Dame's Elmer Layton back in 25. Benny Lom, Rose Bowl player of the game in 1929 for California. Right now, fourth down and a foot to go. Biggest play of the game for USC, Bell and Carter. And also, Tatupo. There's a first down for you. Alan Carter, running behind Wedge Blocking, gives USC a first down. How they needed that one. Okay, we saw Ohio State go its left because of Schumacher. Well, USC likes Newton and Bain, and a big gain, and Pete Kusick is back in the football they just game. put him back in, Al. USC has only one timeout remaining. They have the ball on the Ohio State 38. On this drive, which started on their 16, they've thrown only one pass. And that was the first play of the drive. Now, here's Hayden setting up. Oh! Boy, has he got time. He's throwing deep to McKay, and it's a touchdown! He's got him for a touchdown! 38 yards, and now they can go for a tie or a win. What a catch by McKay. All and through high school. Hayden laid it right in there perfectly. All through high school, they worked together. All through college, they were roommates for a while in John McKay Sr.'s home. Plenty of time. Brilliant catch. Here's another angle. Four years in high school, they played together. Four years together in college. Hayden lived with McKay's his senior year in high school when Hayden's father moved to San Francisco. And that may be the last pass as a battery together. And now they have the option to go for two. It's 17 to 16 in favor of Ohio State. McKay's always been a gambler. I wonder what he'll do now. I think they're going for two. I don't know. Well, he's not taking that much time to, co to talk over an extra point, Kurt. That's for sure. 
I think John McKay also feels, if I know John McKay, that you try to win a football game. Out he comes. Pat Hayden, winding up a brilliant career. He's off to a slow start, but the last five games, he's hit nearly 60% of his passes. And he just hit the big one, 38 yards to his buddy J.K. McKay. And what a drive, 84 yards for USC after Ohio State had put on an 82-yard drive. Now they're moving the ball over to the near hash marks. All right, Kurt, keep in mind, he likes to roll out also. He's got plenty of room to the top, to the right. We may see him roll right and throw. Neil Colsey is on J.K. McKay. They're going for two. They could win it. If they blow it, they could lose it. Hayden throws, and he has it. Sheldon Dix has it. And USC has the lead. Sheldon Dix for two points. What a windup. It's still not over yet. And this is, here's a few of them. He goes right. Griffin is injured with evidently some bad ribs. Now Archie's going back in. They've got him taped up. Here's Ray Griffin coming out. He didn't receive the kickoff. A minute and 59 seconds to go. Ohio State on their 31. They had the lead. They've just lost it. They're behind 18 to 17. Green flips complete at the 40-yard line. Short of a first down to Bashnagel, the wing back. Ohio State quickly trying to line up. Clock is moving, a minute 45. Ohio State has two timeouts left. Second down, a yard and a half to go. Look out, look out, somebody move. Bashnigle may have moved. They go ahead with a play, and it is a remarkable grab there by Bartosik, the tight end. He did. That's Bashnagel coming. There he is, the wing back. I thought he moved. Now he draws the linebacker. There are a minute and 29 seconds remaining in this one of the best of all Rose Bowl games. It figured to be in the matchup. Two powerhouse teams, each defeated once. USC reaching its peak the last month of the year. Ohio State with a team that gained over 4,000 yards rushing. It's a legal procedure against each team. A legal procedure against each club. You know, this is the situation where the pass, again, is so obvious. Except when you've got brilliant speed, like Raymond, Raymond Griffin, sometimes the handoff works as well. Minute 29 to go. Second down, a yard and a half to go. Green under the gun. Look at him shake away. Now he's hit and goes down. Well, they had the pass rush. 
Gary Jeter, the sophomore tackle for Cleveland, and Art Riley, the right tackle, swarmed him under. And a timeout call by Ohio State to stop the clock. This is the biggest play of the football game for Gary Jeter. He has not had that good a game. He's got all kinds of ability. He's got great speed, great strength, and a great second effort. Watch this. 79, Jeter pulls him down. A minute and 16 seconds remaining. At halftime, Ohio State led 7 to 3. USC came back to take the lead 10 to 7. And Ohio State went ahead 17 to 10. And USC's come roaring back on an eight point play to go ahead. Green throws. And it is completed to the 42 yard line of Ohio State to Bartosik, the tight end. A minute and seven to go. And it is a first down. They stop the clock on the first down. Mike Bertazic has been a real asset for this football team. First down, Ohio State less than a minute ago. Green, look out, look out, he throws. And is it, what is it? Is it the 49? If he caught that one, that's something. Bartosik again with a remarkable catch. Three men around him. At the 49-yard line of USC, the clock moving. They're trying to get into field goal position. Anything. Green. There's the pass. Over the head of the receiver wide open. Lenny Willis stops the clock with 29 seconds to go. And USC leading 18 to 17. Down is Jeter, 79. You have to wonder whether the man that got them here with his foot against Michigan will get another chance to win the big one, the rubber match. Gary Jeter is injured. It'll be third down and about a foot to go for Ohio State on the USC 49, 29 seconds to go. Ohio State was leading 17 to 10. Ohio State scored on a field goal by Claiborne with 6.39 remaining. Then they kicked off. USC took the kickoff, ran it out to their 16, and then put on a remarkable drive of 84 yards, capped off by a 38-yard pass from Pat Hayden to J.K. McKay. And those two will go down as one of the greatest batteries in the history of USC football. Incidentally, Graham McNamee broadcast the first game coast to coast on radio back here in 1927 from the Rose Bowl. And he used to describe <coughs> the sun setting on the San Gabriel Mountains. And as we look up to the left over the Rose Bowl, it is quite a sight now. Blood red on those San Gabriel Mountains. Dr. Robert Wood, the team doctor of the Los Angeles Dodgers, Joe Costanza. Denny Munition, all have given us outstanding help. <laughs> Kerry, you said at the Rose Bowl game you mentioned early, Arch Griffin did not continue his streak. Ozzy Lang also up here in our booth. Executive producer Scotty Connell, Dick Arback has produced today's game and has been directed by the old timer Harry Coyle with his usual fine job out of the Rose Bowl. The 75 Orange Bowl game is going to follow immediately from Miami, Notre Dame, and Alabama. So stay tuned for this big blockbuster today on NBC. All right, we're just about ready to go back into action. Lynn Willis has come into the game for Ohio State. Ohio State trailing 18 to 17. As everything burst loose in this fourth period. 29 seconds to go. Dave Levy. Dave Levy, the assistant athletic director with the yellow cap and the K's top assistant. Woody Hayes, 61 years old, has won so many times. His team doesn't rally here. It's a heartbreaker for him. 
Ohio State has won four times and lost three in the Rose Bowl. USC has won 13 and lost six. In fact, USC is the only Pac-18 that's a winner against the Big Ten in Rose Bowl competition. I do think Woody must feel they're going to cover him deep. The only way he can win it is to go short. They'll be looking for Bertazic again or back out of the backfield. The idea, give Clavin one shot. Only one timeout left for Ohio State. Third down and a foot to go. They've got to get somewhere to get a score. I don't know what's holding everybody up here. Yeah, well, they want to remind him it's third down. Nobody wants to lose it down the way they did at Dartmouth. Green on the screen is incomplete. Nearly intercepted by the linebacker, Dale Mitchell, 85. Now here's the last shot for Ohio State. They have fourth down and a foot to go. They have 21 seconds remaining. Charles Phillips, the rover man, may not be covering the speed deep. You can be sure he's going to be looking again for Bartosz. Last shot for Ohio State. They're going for that first down, and they have it. At the 48-yard line, they come in and call their last time out allotted. Archie Griffin gained the first down. Or have they taken the... Uh, no, they haven't taken a timeout. It's an automatic first down. There's 16 uh, seconds, an automatic timeout on the first down. Now they'll crank the clock up at the moment. 16 seconds to go, and the clock is moving. Green running back. He's using up time. He'll go out of bounds, and he runs it out on the 45-yard line of SC with 47 seconds to go, and they're 45 yards away. Clavin can kick the long field goal, but I don't know who can kick a 60-yarder, Tom Dempsey. They've got to get closer. They still have one timeout left. Seven seconds to go. USC ahead, 18 to 17. Green's toss. It is no good. Pass intended for Dave Hazel, 82. They're down to two seconds and their last play. Charlie Phillips was defending. The last play for Ohio State. They're on the 45-yard line, and they're going to try a field goal. Holding is Bashnagel. This one is going to be 58 yards. The kick is up. It is up. It is short. The touchback. The game is over. And USC pouring back on an 80-yard drive in the last two minutes defeated Ohio State. USC gambled and went for the win on the two-point option and beat the Buckeyes in one of the all-time thrillers of the Rose Bowl. The final score, Southern California 18 and Ohio State 17. So that's it from Pasadena. On behalf of my partner, Aldi Rogatis, Kurt Gowdy saying so long and stay tuned now for the Orange Bowl following station identification. Action Times 2, James Garner in the Rockford Files, and Angie Dickinson as policewoman Friday night.